MTD in the UK is fast approaching the next big hurdle. In April 2022, all VAT registered businesses will need to keep digital records. That does mean they can use Excel, but you then, if you've got a VAT return to submit, from Excel will have to use bridging software, which will have a digital link to HMRC in order to submit the return. We can help streamline, automate that process for the collection of data, which can then be exported into Excel. So what we have here is a business that may use Excel and they will, every time get an invoice, they will type it in or every time they raise an invoice and they can spend hours and hours and hours doing this, depending on the volume of activity. Danger of using Excel like this is it can result in errors and you've also got to do the manual categorization of each of the transactions incurred. You can then bring in totals here, net amount, VAT and gross, and then a cross cast here just to make sure that the total of the categorization equals the net amount on the invoice. Then you can take that data and you can put it into um, bridging software. Now bridging software will often have an Excel template and I'll come on to that where you can then, you can't type the numbers in, you've got to create a link between this spreadsheet and the bridging software spreadsheet. So where prepare comes in is it can save so much time and avoid the user having to process all the transactions manually. So if we jump into prepare, we assume that we've just put this potential, this new client onto prepare. Previously they were using Excel, now they're all on prepare, but they're not integrated with any accounting system. If we assume that the quarter end for the VAT return is 30th September, and we've got all of these transactions uploaded by the client or whoever's doing the bookkeeping on this particular job. First stage is to put all the transactions into date order. Now, once those transactions are in date order, we can go down to the period that we're interested in, and it's the quarter ending September, and we can highlight all of those transactions nice and easily. Now, in theory, if the previous quarter's transactions have all been cleared out, you can just bulk select all of those transactions much quicker. Once you've selected all the transactions, we can then export those transactions um, to a CSV format. As I say, good practice at this stage was also be to archive those transactions because we know at this stage they are being picked up for the VAT return. I won't archive them here for the time being. We export those transactions and just wait for them to appear in Excel. So these are all the transactions that have been exported from Excel. The next stage is we just need to bring in some totals. You can't add it up manually, you can't type the numbers in under MTD, but what we can do is just quickly total those transactions. Now for the VAT return, what we do need is the net figure and then the VAT element as well. So what we have here is the VAT element, absolutely brilliant. This is the total on the invoice and what we can do is just make sure that we are knocking off the VAT element. Now when you use bridging software, all we need to do is transfer that to the template provided by the bridging software company. Iris, I believe, have this solution in place, so this would work with anyone who's using Iris's um, own VAT submission tool. I'm just gonna move this sheet onto my other document. And this is what the template looks like if you're using bridging software. All we have to do is VAT reclaimed on purchases equals that figure and VAT net um, purchases being that figure. You can do exactly the same process for sales invoices as well. So sales invoices can be put through um, Dex Prepare without any difficulty as well. Once that's done, this document gets uploaded to the bridging software and submitted to HMRC. 
there's a couple of benefits of using prepare to deal with the rat <coughs> return firstly it does save a huge amount of time because you're not having to manually enter all the transactions secondly we store a digital copy of the receipt, so if they ever have a VAT inspection and HMRC wants to see supporting paperwork, it's easily accessible. And then thirdly, it's doing all this categorization for us in Prepare. It isn't having to be done manually, which can be a time-consuming process. What this means is if we were to bring in filters, we can very quickly sort by category and then calculate the totals for each category that could be used to create the trial balance or income and expenditure account. So although many businesses like using Excel, using Prepare to export to Excel and then bridging software like Iris's solution can save a huge amount of time and add a lot of benefits to the user. If you do have any questions, please as always reach out. Thank you.